The following stream has been approved for all puzzle audiences by the Puzzle General Community. still here yes <laughs> to talk about his magic gate speaker pals in this super bubble pop oh boy what a game what a game <laughs> <laughs> that good huh <laughs> well this game is different compared to most of the other puzzles games that we've seen so far this one is a game that emphasizes speed and accuracy it's not the kind of game where you it's an action puzzle game, like, kind yeah of. yeah it's the kind of game where you don't really have time to like sit down and think about your moves you gotta just do it and oh boy it is so easy to screw up in this game like <laughs> one false move and disaster will strike So, shall we, um, are you ready to see how well you did? Sure, let's... Roll the tape. I'm gonna be watching Peter Charles, see what he does. Oh, he's got techno music, of course he does. Of course, you're playing as a robot, after all. So, for the most part, this game has, um... Start you out with a fixed layout, and your the goal is to like match three of the bubble stacks, and uh, you gotta do it really quickly. Otherwise, there's gonna be a row of bubbles that'll pop out, and uh, basically you gotta clear most of them or get the three bubble stars. So, Which like, should be the house. big yellow thing that's on the top of the... There we are. Yeah, that's the yellow ones. It took me a while to actually realize that those were the bubble stars. And all the other weird looking things are power-ups. And meanwhile, that is a pretty hideous looking stack you have. Yeah, um, I. it took me a while to grasp the concept of what was going on because uh, I kept thinking that uh, when you throw a bubble um, it would well basically when you throw a bubble onto a place where there's already a bubble it'll stack onto the bubbles and uh, it will stack underneath the bubble yeah it it's basically going to push the stack on top and the bubble will go on the bottom and if you throw something towards a spot where there isn't one, it'll just stay there. And you basically want to make like a stack of three or a line of three to clear the bubbles. 
And um, basically, you also have power ups in this game you can use, which are those um, weird things, the weird purple disco ball things. What do the power ups do? Um, they vary. You can flip a column, you can freeze a row. And also one thing we weren't told is that there's this blue bar that you have that will fill up. I think as you In the top right. get matches, yeah. And I think it makes you do it like a shockwave move. That'll clear a lot of the bubbles. So what platform is this game on? It looks and uh, sounds Game Boy Advance. Yeah, it's a Game Boy Advance game. Yeah, there, there's no real mistaking the not ideal sound quality of that. Yeah, so like Pika Palace is doing right now, he's clearing these stages pretty quickly. Um, like I said, um, these stages have fix the fixed layouts have. Uh, uh, give you a limited time to clear them before the real bubbles comes after you. So if you manage to do that, you can save yourself a lot of time. And there's 50 stages in the whole goal. And, and you've got the goal is that's in chill mode, yeah? Yes, it's 50 stages. So you can imagine if you this goal is not very long if you are able to just clear the initial stages like immediately and not have those to deal with those rows of bubbles. Like Fika Pass is having to deal with now. Yes. I think you're both on level five now? I mean there's there's no way of telling what level it yeah, it's kind of hard to tell. Apologies of that. That just happened to just happened to, to drop right before the the match starts. It's it's good <laughs> good stuff there, Ernest. Good stuff. <laughs> <laughs> right. So so uh, have have we have we explained the continue system in this mode? Um, I don't yeah, know. No, this game actually has. Uh, continues and the game over so you have three continues before you can you basically have to start over so what we weren't told before this started was that you can actually restart the stage and get back at the um to the stage that you were at with no penalty whatsoever so that would have been useful to know because it would have completely changed how I approach this particular goal. Because given how you're playing the first level, I and what you're saying, I guess what you're saying is that the way you played this was you uh, tried to salvage the situation a lot more than you probably would have done. Yeah, um, basically at, at some point I realized that you could clear the um, stages, like the initial layout immediately and not have to deal with those what are you doing oh my word you swim to rapid fire mode there <laughs> yeah i wasn't really sure what i think i was just trying to kill myself and, and there goes the pulse yeah i think that's the um power up that wasn't uh, no, that was blue bar flash there, so I think that was you spending meter. Yeah, that's actually a move with, we weren't told about, but it's a move that allows you to wipe up most of the um, bubbles, I guess. So... You're a little bit behind right now. Peak Path is on 16 and you're on, like, 8, I think? Yeah, he, um... Got the concept down well. I think just I just. Of... I think what happened was I just got thrown off by the fact that um, 
like I, I was trying to get the quick clears and uh, once those um what's the quick kill scale you just gotta yeah, it, find it out and the grinding was for effect yeah it was kind of um oh like, and restart from the beginning so uh, the reason i did that was i figured now that i saw that um the now I saw that you could actually clear those stages quickly if you do it at the first instance. I figured it wouldn't take me too long to get back to that point if I had just dealt with it, but unfortunately I kept messing up the shots. I mean, like, just looking at the next kill on the left-hand side, it's not entirely obvious which of those two you're going to shoot next. It is. It looks like it's the top one, but it's. I'm not entirely sure, and I've been watching this yeah, game um, <laughs> being played now for eight minutes. Yeah, this is not a game that clicked very well with me in the beginning, so it took me a while to get a hold of it. Pika Pals, on the other hand, seems to have gotten quite a good grasp of what the game is about. This game also looks like it does some evil things, like, so there are power-ups that can fall down and you can collect. There's also boulders that you probably don't want to land on you. Uh, the boulders, they just take a few hits to, to, to destroy. Oh, it's not, oh, it's not quite a case if they fall on you then. I don't Is that what you mean, me? I don't think they do any damage on to you, they just, um... They just get in the way. Yeah, they just get in the way. Yeah, I restarted the game, like, the mode over, because I wanted to save my continues, and I thought that, um, I thought that was a good idea at the time, but uh, apparently you just need to just hit restart instead of quit, and you can just start at the stage you were at, which I didn't know at the time, and if I had known that, I would have just kept doing that every time I got to the point where the the stack the second stack appears okay, looks like he's gonna lose a life here it looks like you're both about to oh in fact is that a game oh no you wow. you got three continues but you can also just hit restart on that menu. Yeah, I actually never tried it. I should have, but um, I didn't. Yeah, this is one of those games where you can't really just you can't just stop and think about the how to solve the puzzle quickly. You, you just have to do it before it's too late. Yeah, the music probably doesn't help um, if you're a, a think a thinker type, because this is not really thinking music. This is <laughs> fast action music. Yeah, it, it fits the tone of the game. Yeah, it does, but it's also very unsettling. I think. I thought the music was fine and didn't really bother me. Oh no no no! no. This, I'm, I, I'm, I'm just imagining this is what it's like for some people. This music, this is the sort of music I'd want to listen to for a game, for, for most games, I think. It's just, if you're not used to it. Oh, pals with a nice save there. Yeah. You should get the uh, and, and there we go. <sighs> so you have a 16 level disadvantage right now. Oh yeah, I think that pretty much should spell out how it will go from here. <laughs> well, we have seen bigger comebacks. But then again, you also know how well you did. No spoilers, please. <laughs> yeah, 
yeah, the thing about this is uh, while you can clear the initial setup on the first try, you can, you only see the the first two um, bubbles that you get, the colors. So you don't really know what you have to work with. Yeah, you don't really know everything that you have to work with. So you can't really like too plan too far ahead. Sometimes you might get instances where you will get um, where you will need. It looks like you will match three, but in reality you need to match four to actually clear the puzzle quickly. Otherwise, you get different colors. Can we watch Zuma now? Oh dear. I mean, this, it looks like there is an interesting puzzle game in this. It's just... Yeah, it's just at the beginning. And once you... um, Once you get to the point where you miss the initial solution, you basically have to just try to get the... Three bubble stars. But you're at the mercy of when they spawn because it doesn't look like the game gives you them very easily. Yeah. Like most initial setups have one and then it's like how long before the next one spawns? Yeah, pretty much that's how this game rolls. It looks like he gave up on shooting that ball just a little too soon. So, peak piles, there's like... Oh, and now there's a four filler. The yeah, there's orange. I think that's all the colors that you'll get in this mode. Yeah. Just how fast the stages go when you... When you can see the solution and can actually execute it. Yeah. The problem is doing both of those before the game decides, no, nah, you've had enough time. Onto the randomness with you. Yeah, see, I think that was one of the instances where you needed to match four with the reds on the pals. So he got, he didn't do that, so he got the, um, now he has to do, get the three stars. And luckily a third one's just four, so it's just his drilling for it. And right. getting the oranges to get it. Mm-hmm. Because that's the other thing this game is going to put you at the mercy of. Yeah. It's like playing Tetris, but worse. Yeah, <laughs> I had a lot of instances where I was just like... Because like now, on Peak Pass, there's two of them blocked behind Orange. Oh, yeah. I had uh, numerous instances where I, w I was trying to get a star to clear a stack, and I was just firing rapidly, and it just would not give me the right color. One thing I do like about the game is how, it, um, like, you can tell if you're about to make a right match when because it, it flashes them when it, yeah, yeah. I, I I had noticed that. that that does seem to be one of the few nice things this game does. Mm -hmm. Yeah, pick up house miss, misfires there, so now he has to deal with the. The Went to the red there it comes. That's clear, but and now one to yeah, It doesn't take him too long, though. I mean, while well, you. 
you're really struggling when the uh yeah when the you levels... don't get the first clear yeah yeah like i said it took me a while to get the hang of this game i'm more used to uh, types of puzzle games where you um have a chance to think about things yeah I mean, I usually do well in like soccer band type games, and for a game like this, where you have to like act fast, and otherwise deal with the consequences, it usually takes me longer to get the hang of it. Yeah, there haven't been that many real um, puzzle games where you actually have to re react to things in real time and. And have time pressure uh, in this sort of and, and from what I've seen, mostly through commentary, those games have actually been the ones that have given people where you do have to ha play in real time, like this, like uh, Magical Potential Challenge is another one, I think. Th those sorts of games have been the ones that seem to have caused the most problems for some people. Yeah, it's just that I haven't played enough of those games, so I, I'm not that good at them, admittedly. Well, also, a lot of them are on the ban list, so... That's true. Ooh, just missed out there. Yeah, another thing is this what? game is really Ooh. um punishing. No, don't have to save. Oof, wow. Yeah, this game is really punishing for, like, you fire at the wrong time. It's also really hard to see where you're aiming because. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I've misfired so many times when playing this. It was <laughs> laughable. I, I don't know if. I mean. I don't know if. The, this is the sort of thing I could fairly laugh at because it's not like. Really poor luck timing. It's just the game Bad being no, no, no. It's just game. the game not giving you a chance. I, I, I feel that this is one of those games where the game is just oh, yeah. does not want to give the player a chance. Ooh, of course you had yeah. super Ice coming up. Ah, oh, dear. Yeah. So if I had known that the uh, so, this was actually played in Mystery Tournament 12, this past Mystery Tournament, and I look at uh, if there was a pace bin for it, because all we were told about the game before we started was that A was um, to fire your shot, B was oh, you to power up. you a pace for this, then? Well, there was a pace bin for Mystery Tournament, but we weren't given that particular pace bin. We were just told that A was power up, I mean, no, B was power up, A was to fire, and um, you had three continues to work with. So I went and looked at the paste bin, and it actually got a lot of stuff that I wish I had known. And the biggest thing was that um, you can restart the stage, like at the same stage, without... How do you do that? I think you just press restart instead of quit. And you can start the same stage you were at without using up a continue. So if I had known that, I would have approached it a lot differently and just tried to go for the quick clears. In, and when I got to the... Um, if I missed it, I would just restart the stage. That would have been my approach. But I was under the assumption that like quitting or retrying made you restart the whole thing over again and you um like once you there was no way to like, well once you use up your three continues that's it wow okay uh, that's time is done. time for picky pals and we will you're on level 21 Yeah, this 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 game was not good for you. Yeah, it definitely wasn't my type of game. 
That's the thing with mystery. Um, sometimes you get a string of games that you're really good at, and then sometimes you're, you get games that are just don't click with you, and that's what happened here. So, there is one obvious question right now. Yeah. How does it feel to be free from the Mystery Puzzle Challenge? Well, um, I think it was a good run. I had a good time. I mean, this is the first year I've tried to do mystery type things. I've had a blast so far. So you did this uh, Mystery Puzzle Did you do Mystery uh, Tournament 12 as well? Yes, I did. How did you do in that? Well, um, I got a really bad a game that was horrible for me on the first round. <laughs> which is a sports game. Apparently it was supposed to be a top 8 game, but it didn't get in the... Um, it didn't, I guess, get reserved for top 8, so they happened to draw it. And it was not a game that was to my <laughs> liking at all. Actually, it wasn't like a what sport was single, it? it was a sports compilation of ah. NES games and I just do not do well at those kinds of games. Like I am decent at like if I was if there was a sports game I would say that I was decent at it would be like those combat sports games, but I mostly got games that were like primarily team sports games and I do not play them. So <laughs> Obviously, that's a uh, auto lose for me. But then, um, so yeah, uh, was this a little... double elimination or just single? It's double elimination, just like this one. But you uh, had another sports game in losers, or no? Uh, that was just the first one and only one I got. So, um, <laughs> so surprisingly, um, I guess for the next seven games, I actually played like, nine matches this wow. mystery tournament. So you had a, a big losers. Run back yeah. in. <laughs> I guess I I just got games I was decent at, and then I um, my run ended when I drew like a racing game, and those are not my thing. <laughs> so there's uh, no shame in that. Um, yeah, that's the way it is with me. If you give me a game that I'm good at, I will. Play like crush it, but if I don't get a game I'm good at, I'm I will pretty much lose to anybody. But yeah, um, the mystery tournaments have been good so far. I I've enjoyed them. I would like to see this uh, mystery puzzle challenge continue. I mean, yeah, I, I, I'm definitely trying to think of puzzle games I could submit to next tournament, even though I don't think I'd want to play this myself. <laughs> I'll probably sit out and maybe like help with testing or something. Yeah, I, I might help with testing. M mostly this. Uh, I was just doing commentary, but testing might actually give me a chance to play more of these games so yeah. that I know more what to say about them. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's kind of my that was kind of my motivation for doing these because I wanted to play like more newer games or games I was hadn't played before. And while you do get that chance. Um, once you're out, you know, you don't get that chance anymore. Just listen, I listen, to, listen to this music now. I'm actually thinking about uh, one particular racing game for Actually, no, I don't. Oh, I forget which racing game it was during a uh, mystery turn twelve that I managed to tune in for. But uh, uh, Scent had a playlist of 
uh, initial D. Uh, oh, no, it's a game over, so um, <laughs> yeah. I gotta play this again from level one. Ouch. Okay, I'm glad someone remembers the game. Which game? <laughs> uh, Ray Tracers. Because the last one just roars in chat and. <laughs> Three in all my gaps! <laughs> okay, that's good. <laughs> Oh, damn me. <laughs> Did I really just say that? But it wasn't that game then. No, it wasn't. It was a uh, Union Racers that took me out. MT12. Don't know that one. It's a SNES game. It's a 2D racing game. Ah, right. But you have to do stunts to get um, to get speed. And oh, this is this. The, oh, it's that game where you have to. Uh, you're a unicycle and you have to run around. Yeah, that one. Yeah, I've seen that on arcade pit, and it looks quite strange. Yeah, it looks strange, but um, it, it's a fun game. I actually ended up enjoying it. Now, taking uh, now, um, I mostly didn't win the race because I that game doesn't took a while for me to click with me, but uh, I did get the hang of it eventually, which I can't really say the same for that sports compilation. <laughs> <laughs> How many matches did you play in Mystery Puzzle Challenge? Um, five? Do you remember what the fav the your favorite game of the ones you played was? Um, it's gotta be that Load Runner game. I forget which one exactly that was, but... Load Runner is, pretty, is a pretty classic puzzle game, so... It was Load Runner Mad Monk's Revenge. That sounds about right. And did I? Did you manage to watch a lot of the other ra races? Yeah, I've actually, they're really nice, calm, and relaxing. <laughs> I actually do watch most of the um, mystery fun house restreams, like from time to time. Like even now, just, he just hearing the commentary for people who <laughs> haven't played the game is interesting. Um. So the question I was going to ask there was, um, were there any puzzle games that you saw anyone else play uh, in Mystery Puzzle Challenge that you thought were quite interesting? Hmm. I think. I'll have to go back and check. Um, I do want to try that Max Capacitor game out. Oh, I, I also tried that Empty game. The 3D game where you had to like make things disappear. I don't think I saw that one. I think it was the stream. It was the last stream, yeah. Where nobody said anything. Ah, yeah, I actually... I think I was asleep during that one, so I missed that one. Okay. Yeah, I watched that and I thought it was interesting, so I actually downloaded the game and tried it. Yeah, I'm not... That's not a game that... <laughs> uh, that's not the game that I, like, got immediately. I think I got walled on, like, the third to last stage. So it took me, like... 28 minutes, or something like that. But it, it was an enjoyable game, interesting concept. I think out of all the games I was blind to that were played that I didn't have a match in, that was the one that I actually went and played.
Do you remember what level you're on now? Um... Because I haven't been keeping track. I haven't been keeping track either. I, I believe I get it this time, because um, at this point I have a, a better idea of what I'm doing. That being said, I still don't have like a okay, 14. Yeah, that's a long way to go still. I mean, some of these stages go by quickly when you actually know like how to set up the first turn clears. But it's a case of being able to set them up. Right. In the later levels that you don't, that you haven't managed to see yet. Right. Yeah, I made I just made a lot of bad assumptions when I was playing this game. And that ultimately it ended up with me uh, making a lot of bad decisions. Like it took me a long time to realize what the uh, bubble stars were, like which power ups were the bubble stars, and um, also like here I it took me a while to realize that I should be going for that um, bubble star on the right. So attack that and then yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, I missed a shot there, so you're gonna have to deal with the um, the moving blocks or bubbles. But uh, thankfully, it doesn't take me too long to get the. It looks like you star. picked up the idea of attacking for the for the stars now. Yeah, you can see the way you just went straight for that green on the right. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it it just took a while. Oof. Yeah, that was a <laughs> close, but no. But that's a but it, quick clean out loud. Yeah, it didn't really matter in the end because I I guess I got lucky with these stars spawning. I guess I was just too focused on those, um, on getting those clears that, um, I guess it's easy to get sidetracked and not like realize that the stars are also a thing you can do. Because when you miss a shot, like, it's easy to get frustrated that you weren't able to clear the, um, the setup, the initial setup on the first go. But, yeah. So oh, see, I, I misfired a red there, and now I have to deal with the moving bubbles. And the fact the game doesn't want to give you any stars. Right. So if I had known that the, you could restart the... You'd have hit that button stage. already. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But I didn't, so... That's what you're gonna see here. I just have to, I basically just deal with what I get and hope for the best. Fortunately, there's this huge stack of uh, three bubble stars there. So I just have to get that down and then it should be in the clear. So here I'm trying to fire. Spamming for it, yeah. Yeah, hoping for the green, but it just is not giving it to me. Wow. That's, that's Tetris RNG right there. Oh! Yeah. Flip column, apparently, like, it puts the power-ups in the bottom, so... They puts just all the roll starting bottom and then you. just, yeah. And then that level is just fast repositioning and... Yep. 
Here I botched the solution completely. I couldn't even see what the solution for that, the intended solution for that one was. I think you had to shoot, like make a stack of the greens and then go for the reds and the blues. I like, I already screwed it up. I mean, this is not a, this is not a long goal once you know what to do. It's a case of knowing what to do, and right. that is, that's been the sort of thing that's tripped up a lot of people. Some people, I think, it's just understanding what the game's asking you to do. Right. I think you're yeah, dead here. Yeah, uh, yep. I think that's what happens. Ah, uh, it's the quick kill. Yeah, so... See if I had retried that, that's what I would have done there. Yeah, I'm right there. I think I was rapid firing, hoping that I would destroy that rock, but apparently it doesn't work that way. I'm not. In I, 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 I think you might have been trying to shoot a rock that wasn't on the ground. Yeah. It was kind of. Yeah. Mm hmm. How does. Is this the first time you. Watched yourself play a game that you played previously, or I mean, I've have... watched some of the mis previous streams of mystery tournaments and the uh, mystery puzzle challenge stream. So, but yeah, but this is, is this the first time you're trying to commentate? Talk oh, about yes. <laughs> yeah, like I said, the uh, bottom line here is uh, I was just working on some. I just had a lot of bad assumptions when I was playing this game. I think on the later levels, the um, solutions become a lot more obvious. So the next stages should go by pretty quickly. Yeah, because... I, I do wonder how much of it is also... So, um... You're getting more used to it, but I, I, I guess... Um... I mean, that... Yeah, see right there, I do like three tears <laughs> in a row. Some some games do have an issue where they they get oh, they get a lot easier as they go on just because the, the difficulty service is so, so messed up. Yeah, I think I got at that point I had gotten used to the mechanics of the game and. Um, I also got, um, I guess the solutions were more obvious to me. Uh, obviously for that one, it, I messed up because I didn't know about that you needed to actually do four in a row with the reds there. But thankfully the uh, stars were nice to me and showed up fairly early. The 
then that's another clean level. So it's looking good for you finishing this within the hour at this point. Yeah. So you can see just how fast it goes when you actually like clear these levels fairly quickly. Is this the? Did you did you play much more of this after your match? I mean, um, once you beat Chilled Mode, that's pretty much it. So. You, did you try the end of the other modes? Or? I didn't try the other modes. No. Maybe I should. I mean, I, I thought the game was <laughs> fine. I just it just wasn't my type of game. That it's not the type of game that like clicked immediately with with me. That's all. really know if there's much more I can say about this game, which is... Yeah, I mean, once you get... There's not really much, like, variation with what you get at this point, other than the, you know, the initial setup of the initial puzzles. See right here, I'm trying to spam... Getting, yeah, getting to, starved on green Try again. to get the green, Ooh. yeah, but... It's just <laughs> giving it to me. <laughs> okay, so I, I forgot that power up was a thing, so I so you, I, I right. accidentally what? used it actually. What it kind of worked out there? Yeah, I, I totally forgot that you could do that, and uh, I, I was just pressing buttons at that point, and I that just happened to go off for me. Well, these are all the rules of mystery tournaments. Press all the buttons. Yeah, um, we were not told that was a thing you could do, so I kind of forgot about it. You can see how fast these stages go. I mean, almost... Uh, yeah, it's probably just as well, because I... Don't really know how much more I have to say about this game. Yeah, and there's like three more levels after this. So I just get lucky with the star. Yeah. And there's um, the last level. And there it is. Uh, it's time. Yep. Whew. That was anything but chill. <laughs> yeah, it's very fast paced. If you miss, I guess it, it was easy to get frustrated when you like miss a shot. But you just gotta um, deal with it and um, move on. Yeah, and speaking of moving on, Pika Powell's. You will be moving transition. on to face. Yeah. Jal. Jal in uh, Luger's Top 8, yeah. And that does it for tonight. But before we go, there is a little bit of an announcement Tetris Concept. 
Net has their Carnival of Death this week. For those of you who like the te for those of you who like your Tetris fast paced and with the game not even presenting to give you a chance, try your hand at Tetris the Grandmaster 2's death mode and add to the death toll to see if <coughs> to see if uh, last year's death toll can be improved on. And some Tetris nerds are going to be streaming it as well because, hey, it's 2018. Let's stream everything. But yeah, that's that. We're caught up now, and hopefully, next time Mystery Puzzle Challenge is back, we'll be having live matches. And yeah. Um, quick rundown of where the bracket is right now. A winner's side, we have Sai Ho versus Yume Sabasa and Some Girl versus Alpha 5. Loser's bracket, uh, te uh, Aaron already beat Taman, and now Pika Pals will face Jow. And, yeah. Uh, so, yeah, three outstanding matches to go, and then after that, it should wrap forward. up fairly quickly from there. Mm -hmm. Any closing so, thoughts? So, who do you have for um, the winner's matches? It's really tough to decide on the winner's matches. <laughs> yeah. I. Do you think we will see a rematch of Aaron Doby and <laughs> Saiho? Oh, you mentioned this during the intermission. Oh, dear. Yes. There's only bracket. one problem if we if we do see that. <laughs> what game are they going to play? Yeah. Do we want a puzzle round two? <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear. I let's um deal with that bridge when it gets built. Yep. <sighs> so but until then Hopefully we'll know next weekend. Yeah, but until then, uh, I have been not on pizza. You've been Green Sea Saber. Cars of the Heart has been somewhere on the other side of a bad internet connection. Mm -hmm. And this has been the Mystery Puzzle Challenge. Goodbye, everyone. All right. Take it easy. See you later.